When it comes to spaceflight, the words impulse, specific impulse, and delta V are terms thrown around a lot. They all are used to quantify spacecraft performance, but they all mean different things. Today, I answer what these words mean, and what exactly they quantify. But before we get into it, please like and subscribe. I only have 16 subscribers, so it would help out a lot if you did. Impulse is the easiest to calculate out of all of these. Impulse is calculated by multiplying the thrust by the amount of time the force is being applied. With a rocket, this would be the force of the engine multiplied by the burn time. Impulse is most often measured in Newton seconds. Let's use Kerbal Space Program to illustrate this point. In KSP, the Thumper solid rocket motor has a burn time of 42 seconds and 250 kilonewtons of thrust at sea level. If we multiply 42 seconds by 250 kilonewtons, we get 10,500 kilonewton seconds. Unlike impulse, specific impulse is used to measure fuel efficiency rather than total force. The specific impulse equation is just the total impulse equation divided by the weight of the fuel. Make sure to not divide by the mass. The units for specific impulse are a bit odd. Unlike total impulse, specific impulse is measured in seconds rather than newton seconds. This is because specific impulse is calculated by dividing one force, the thrust of the engine, by another force, the weight of the fuel pushing down on the engine, and this cancels out both forces. Going back to Kerbal Space Program, let's try and calculate the specific impulse of the BACC Thumper solid rocket motor. The Thumper's propellant weight is 6,150 kilograms. We already calculated the total impulse of the Thumper, which is 10,500 kilonewton seconds. Let's quickly convert the weight of the propellant into kilonewtons. This gives us roughly 60.3 kilonewtons. Dividing the impulse by the weight gives us a specific impulse of roughly 174 seconds. The actual engaged specific impulse is 175 seconds, but the only reason we were slightly off is because we rounded a lot of numbers. It is important to note that specific impulse changes with atmospheric pressure because the exhaust gas is pushing against the atmosphere, slowing the exhaust down, which reduces the thrust. Reduced thrust means a, reduced, a reduction in specific impulse. This means that no matter the rocket, it will always be more efficient in a vacuum. Then we come across delta V. Delta V means change in velocity, and it can be used to measure how much a rocket can change its trajectory slash its orbit. It is typically measured in meters per second. Delta V is a much more useful way of measuring the range of a rocket, since in space there is no force to slow down a rocket, so a rocket can orbit forever, making normal distance measurements an impractical way of measuring rocket range. Delta V is calculated by an equation known as the rocket equation, which has multiple versions. But the one I think is most simple is this. Specific impulse of the engine, multiplied by the standard of gravity of the body you're orbiting or launching from, multiplied by the natural logarithm function of the wet mass divided by the dry mass of the rocket. You may notice that this equation doesn't take into account air resistance. This means that despite Earth's orbital velocity of around 7.9 kilometers per second, it takes around 9.3 to 10 kilometers per second of delta V to make it into lower Earth orbit. In order to calculate delta V for multi-stage rockets, you just add up the delta V of each stage, but this can get complex when you begin to add in separate landers and spaceships, like what's on the Saturn V, which has three normal stages, and then has a separate lander and service module which separate during the moon landing attempt and then reconnect in lunar orbit. Let's go to Kerbal Space Program and build a rocket, and then calculate its delta V. Here is our simple, single-stage rocket. We will be using vacuum-specific impulse, rather than measuring it at sea level. First, we will need to divide the wet mass by the drive mass, and then find the natural logarithm function of that number, which gives us around 1.55. The specific impulse of the skiff engine, which is the engine we're using, is 330 seconds, which we multiply by 1.55, and then multiply by 9.8 meters a second st standard gravity, which gives us 5,012 meters a second of delta V in a vacuum. The actual delta V is 5,035 meters a second, and the reason we were slightly off is because we rounded a few numbers. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more similar content. I only have 16 subscribers, so it would really help out if you do it. did. I plan to do more of this informative style of video, in addition to Kerbal Space Program gameplay. Also consider watching another video. Goodbye!